The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus said, this is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, confident in God's forgiveness. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our collect for this week. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth and share his risen life who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Father will send you the Holy Spirit, says the Lord, and be with you forever. Alleluia. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, chapter 16, beginning at the 12th verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine, for this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. For the Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, has promised that you will hear us when we ask in faith. Receive the prayers we offer. We pray for the nations of the world and the leaders of the nations, for all who are entrusted with the responsibility of decision-making, especially in this land, our Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, those in Parliament, our Premier, and all who enable local government life. We pray for public servants, especially for those administering public health orders at this time. Guide with your wisdom and power the leaders of the nations so that everyone may live in peace and mutual trust, sharing with justice the resources of the earth. Give the people of this land a spirit of unselfishness, compassion and fairness in public and private life. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for your church. We pray for the church throughout the world, praying as we bear witness to the eternal truths in familiar and new ways. 
We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, Assistant Bishops, for the ministries of parishes, schools, agencies, aged care, chaplaincies, and all who serve you and proclaim your glory. Send out the light and truth of your gospel and bring people everywhere to know and love you. Enable those who minister among us to commend your truth by their example and teaching. May we gladly receive and obey your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities and for those in need. We pray for the First Peoples of this diocese, acknowledging that this service takes place on Awabakal and Waramai land. We pray for reconciliation, praying that all may be one. We pray for all who are ill at this time, for those suffering with COVID-19, for those who are anxious, for those whose illness has come about during these past weeks. We pray for our healthcare workers, for our frontline workers, and all who care for others. We commend to your fatherly care, merciful God, all who are in sorrow, sickness, discouragement, or any other trouble. Give them patience and a firm trust in your goodness. Help those who care for them and bring us all into the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all who have borne witness to your love through their lives. We praise you for all your servants whose lives have honoured Christ. Encourage us by their example so we may run with perseverance the race that lies before us and share with them the fullness of joy in your kingdom. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith, we may by your grace receive. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will be for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will be our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Will glory and honour be yours always and everywhere. Mighty Creator, ever-living God, we give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. And now we give you thanks that you raised him to life triumphant and exalted him in glory. By his victory over death, the reign of sin is ended. A new day has dawned, a broken world is restored, and we are made whole once more. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and again giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. Come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, keep me in eternal life. The blood of Christ, keep me in eternal life. Let us pray. Most glorious Lord of life, we thank you that you nourish us in these Easter mysteries. Fill us with the spirit of love and unite us in faith that we may witness to the resurrection and show your glory to all the world. 
Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you what is pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. It's been lovely this morning to be back in the cathedral as we celebrate our Eucharist. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.